Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and I TA a comparative anatomy lab. So today I'm showing you the mud puppy circulatory system. This video is going to show you a series of photos from a mud puppy dissection and I have labeled all the arteries very nicely and we also go into what arteries are supplying which organs. So let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to begin with the flow of blood through the mud puppy heart. Mud puppies have a three chambered heart, so they have two atria and one ventricle. The right atrium is receiving deoxygenated blood from the cardinal and hepatic veins. The left atrium is receiving oxygenated blood from the lungs because mud puppies have an underdeveloped lung that they will use under certain circumstances, such as when water quality is really bad. Now the deoxygenated and the oxygenated blood from the right and left atriums mix in the ventricle. That mixed blood then gets pumped from the ventricle through the conus arteriosus and into what is known as the bulbous arteriosus and out the ventral aorta. The afferent bronchial arteries then branch off the ventral aorta and relay that blood to the gills to become fully oxygenated. Now the ventral aorta and the afferent bronchial arteries are not shown here. But think of afferent as going towards the gills. So now that we've oxygenated blood at our gills, we are now in systemic circulation, so blood going to the rest of the body. There are several branches off the gill arches you have to be aware of, one of which is the commissural artery, which isn't shown, but it continues to the heart to become the coronary and supply oxygenated blood to the heart. There's also the internal carotid supplying oxygenated blood to the brain. There's the external carotid, which is not shown, but that's supplying oxygenated blood to the lower jaw. And there's the efferent bronchial arteries converging to form the dorsal aorta and take oxygenated blood to the entire lower half of the body. So think of efferent as going away from the gills. Also note the vertebral artery branching off the efferent bronchial arteries. The vertebral carries blood to the brainstem. Now moving down the dorsal aorta, the first branch is the subclavian, which isn't shown, but you guys are all familiar with the subclavian. The subclavian is always supplying the pectoral limbs with oxygenated blood. The second and the first major branch off the dorsal aorta is the gastric artery supplying the stomach. And also note the pulmonary artery on the lungs. So remember, mud puppies have underdeveloped lungs, and so they have a pulmonary circuit, and so there's the pulmonary artery on the lung. The next and major branch is the celiacomesenteric. And the celiacomesenteric continues to become the splenic, hepatic, pancreatic, duodenal, and mesenteric arteries. So the splenic artery is supplying the spleen, the hepatic artery is supplying the liver, and the pancreaticoduodenal artery is supplying both the pancreas and the small intestine. Continuing down the dorsal aorta are the mesenteric arteries, which are supplying the small intestine because when in doubt, mesenteric arteries are supplying the small intestine. The next arteries are the genital arteries. This particular mud puppy is a male and they are supplying the testes. So that gonad that's sitting sort of to the side, that's sort of blue and brown, that's the testy of the male mud puppy. So those arteries are supplying the testy. And then there are also renal arteries that are not being shown, but they're supplying the kidney because renal means of or related to the kidney. Now, because the mud puppy is really small, sometimes it's really hard to get a picture of certain arteries. So some of the arteries that I have not shown in this video, but you probably do want to know are the iliac arteries because the iliac arteries trifurcate into the epigastric artery that supplies the posterior body wall. The iliac arteries also branch into the hypogastric, supplying the urinary bladder and the cloaca. And they also branch into the femoral artery, supplying the hind limb. So that is it for the mud puppy circulatory system. If you would like to test your arterial knowledge, I did make a quiz video that the link should be showing up at the end of this video that you can just press and that'll take you to that video. There's also currently a video for the shark circulatory system and the cat circulatory system. So please look at those if you need to. Thank you.